This unit is one of our large uh, core grippers. Uh, it's got some uh, advanced features. So you can see here at the front, there's a core gripping nose here. And this is 150 mil diameter. We can actually take this off and we can take it down to 76. So we can change different core sizes. And then this is anti-telescope. So this powers in and can press the roll from the outside. We can switch that on and off so we can make it come in and out or stay out. So uh, first thing we'll do, we'll show you picking up this roll and then rotating it. So starting off with the 150. So wheel the stacker forward and back until you line up. And then we press a button here, which lowers the core into the roll. Lower it all the way down till it touches the top. Don't go any further than that. Just lower it down till it touches the top. Then on the panel here, we can press clamp. Now the clamp is all hydraulic and when it reaches its maximum, it makes quite a lot of squealing noises. This is normal. It's the pressure relief valve which has been set at the clamp pressure. I'm monitoring a gauge here at the back of the panel so I can see how much I'm actually clamping the roll. So now the clamp pressure has been reached. I can now lift the roll, so I press a green button here. Once I'm clear of the ground, I can now rotate the roll. Then we press lower. If I move it forward a little bit, try and stay in camera shot, I can lower it all the way down to the floor. Then I can release the core gripper, so I'm releasing the clamp pressure. I can see it on the gauge here, and for that I have to use two hands. You have to press two buttons at the same time. When the gauge is on zero, I know we've actually got nothing left in it, and then as I pull the unit, pull the core out. So it's very simple to operate, simply just line up the core, drive in, clamp and then lift and rotate. We're now going to look at the anti-telescope device and this is this here. So what will happen is when I press clamp this will go in onto the roll. We can set the pressure on this so we can do it lightly or we can push it very powerfully. So let's press clamp and you'll see it come in. Let's clamp the roll now so it's nice and tight. And to release, we actually release everything at the same time. So when I unclamp, I'm unclamping the anti-telescope pad and I'm also unclamping the core at the same time. Okay, we're now looking at the core gripping head here, this part here. So this is the 150 diameter. So now if we, if we want to take this off and go to 76, we take out the pin, our pin there. We remove the pin out like this. We take the nose cone off. Then we slide the tube off. And that's it now, that's ready for the 76. So this diameter here is 76. You don't have to put the pin in, that's it. The whole thing's ready to, uh, ready to work now. We're now looking at the control panel. So here we have the master on off. So we switch this off, we can take the key out so it can't be operated. Put the key in the slot, turn to the on position to power up. See so emergency stop. That takes all the power from the unit. Lift to reset. This is the battery indicator gauge, tells you how much power is in the battery. Make sure you keep it charged up, don't let it go flat. Then we have our, this is the clamping panel, this yellow one here. So it's a clamp, we press the button and we watch this here. So clamp, clamp pressure. So this is actually, when this needle goes up, is the clamp pressure. For the large rolls, the 150s, we need to be in this yellow bracket here. And for the 76 mil, we'd be in the green. So 
we press the button and we press to go up. You'll notice the gauge will settle a little bit, that's fairly normal, as long as it's in the green for the 76mm cores and in the yellow for the 150s, that's absolutely fine. To unclamp a roll, the roll must be on the floor, so it must not be raised. To unclamp, we have to press two buttons at the same time, marked unclamp. So we press unclamp. Press the buttons long enough for the gauge to come all the way down to zero. So you do need to keep them pressed until the gauge comes down to zero. Then here we have the lift, so lift, lower. Over this side we have rotate, so rotate and back. Then the next one is this here, is the, um, the anti-telescope clamp. So this is that clamping pad we looked at. We can either switch it on or we can switch it off. This one is the pressure uh, reducer. So here we can set the anti-telescope clamp pressure. So when we turn this, this affects this needle. So if we turn it down, this will clamp at less pressure. We turn it up, it'll clamp at more pressure. So fairly complex, but uh, it's easy once you get